behind this television, behind this television that you are seeing, behind this television, in fact, behind this wall, this is where Mpo and Darwala used to happen. Behind this television and this wall is where Mpo and Darwala used to happen. If you are coming to this channel for the very first time, or if you are watching our video for the very first time, do well to subscribe. Or if you are a, if you if you are a returning subscriber, if you have already subscribed, please you are welcome. You are welcome. Yeah? Now let me tell you the story behind what is happening at the back of this wall. I will tell you the story behind what is happening at the back of this wall. In fact, at the back of this television. So let me tell you the story of what really happened. I was in my house. I was in my house. Very late at night. Sleeping. Okay, not really late at night. It was around 8 p.m. Trying to see if I can collect some sleep and wake up in the midnight and start doing the normal thing, you know. Mm. So, while I was trying to sleep by that 8 p.m., that door, the door to that room, opened. It is Sister Julie that lives in that room. Sister Julie, a Christian son of, a Christian daughter of God that we know so very much. She's a Christian daughter of God. Sister Julie opened the house and I started hearing a masculine voice, the voice of a man. Say, okay, maybe it may be part of her brothers from the church. The two both of them entered into the household. They entered into Sister Julie's house. We didn't see it as anything normal. So when they entered, they started praying. This will pray for two hours. Eight to nine. Nine to ten. I did not complain. I did not complain. They slept off. Baby, I was in the I was already getting to the peak of my sleep. Then when I woke up, it was around 2 a.m. One thing woke me up. <sighs> this was the sound that woke me up. I thought it was the big brother Niger that is still on in my television. And maybe I was thinking that maybe one of the one of the housemates is doing <sighs> inside the television. I noticed that the television was very silent, completely silent, to allow me to sleep, even though it was on. So I was like, where is this sound coming from? And I went and placed my ear, placed my ear very close to the wall. And the sound was coming from Sister Julie's house. These were people that prayed for two hours. Sister Julie and her church brother, we are doing two at two. They were knocking. They were knocking inside the room by 2 a.m. Sister Julie was shouting, Get, Do me more, do me more, do me more. The brother was saying, I'm trying my best, I'm trying my best, I'm trying my best. As if that was not enough. I did not sleep, I did not sleep while all these things were going on. As if that was not enough. Sister Julie, by 4 a.m. Because that 12, 12 this, uh, I started hearing that sound from 12.30. From okay, from 1.30 a.m. From 1.30 a.m. Then 4, exactly 4 o'clock on the dot. That was when the whole chorus changed from do me more. I'm trying harder, harder, harder. To Father Lord, I thank you. Sister Julie has entered prayers. I thank you for the gift of knocking that you give to us. What are you mad? Sister Julie was telling God, Thank God, thank you, God, for the gift of knocking you have given to us. Baba God, please do not allow this to to give me. Nine months assignment. 